Absolutely we'll keep an eye on it. As a matter of fact, he is a key and has been a key for Carolina throughout this tournament. Well, and he's the one guy, Tim, who can really play at the pace that Roy Williams wants. If he's not able to go full speed, that is going to help North Carolina State to a great degree. Well, we mentioned earlier that Carolina is now 28-13 in ACC semifinals with that win over Boston College. They've taken their record to 27-6 overall, and they've been doing this championship thing on the sevens. They won it in 57, 67, 77, and 97. Carolina will have it first. Carl Hess, Brian Kersey, Gary Maxwell, they are your officials for the title game. And there is Tyler Hansbrough right out of the gate with a two ball. You know, in the pregame show, Hansbrough said he still was not comfortable with that pass, but I sense with each pass, game he's getting better and better. That's where kicks it out and Fells hits the three. I think Courtney Fells may be the guy who has a big game for NC State. He's got five legs and now uh, looks like he's still fresh. Right as it blocked. But this foul will be on McCauley, his first. First team foul for the Wolfpack. Take a look at this shot by Tyler Hansborough. I do think this shot bails out McCauley into a, a little bit because you take that fadeaway, he knocks it down. I anticipate that uh, North Carolina will attack both Costa and McCauley to try to get them in foul trouble. Again, NC State, Carolina, 83-79, and then lost 83-64. They split during the regular season. Right as the second one coming. Well, really big numbers in those two games then from the win, North Carolina State from North Carolina's bench scored 26 points. And the loss only six points. And it's that second unit that's gonna come in and keep the tempo that uh, could get to NC State legs. Another big factor in the win, they had Sidney Lowe in the bench. And the loss they did wore that red jacket, but he wore it to the hospital in the second half of the flu. Carolina. Defending Grant inside and right with the rebound. Let's see how NC State's shots fall. If they are short, that's indicative of tired legs. Lawson seems to be running well. This is right. Long rebound. Kick it out to Lawson. Wide right open is right. What a great dish by Ty Lawson to go down on the baseline, the drive, the draw, and the dish. Now, there's a reason why he's shooting 66% from the floor this year, because he gets great position inside and finishes with authority. He hit 10 of his 12 field goals yesterday for 20 points. Grant turns it over. Caught here's one. Lawson has it taken away. Ball still loose. Gosper comes up with it. One of those unforced errors that Roy Williams talks about trying to stay away from. Fells again for three. Courtney Fells, nothing wrong with his legs. At only 32% on the year. Over by Ellington. Yes. Down the screen that time by Brandon Wright. His man did not step up to get a hand on Ellington. He had a quick, clean look at a 15 footer. Ellington had 18 points against Florida State. Continues to burn. Carolina by two. Inside the Costner. Loses the handle. Every time Costner touches it, they jump him. He's got two turnovers. Uh, Brandon writes a tough defensive assignment for Costner to have to deal with today. He's got length. He can really guard him in the inside and also has a place to stay with him on the perimeter. And for all balance. Good job by Costner keeping down the ball fake, and that's what Hansborough loves to do inside. Real good job. Poor shot by Hansborough. When we talk about Lawson with that injury, this is where it's going to affect him on the defensive end. Those, those quick moves laterally, that's where the groin area comes into play, and if he's hurt, it's going to be tough. And down to McCauley, kick it back out to Fells again. His shot is short. You know, we've talked about Lawson. What we haven't talked about is that sort. He's got the hamstring problem, and they desperately need him to play this entire game. And the hamstring issue, it's a, it's a straight ahead issue with that, trying to it can accelerate. Costner fires for three. Bang! 
White's going to have to come out and get a hand up on that. The Costner just got tired of banging with him in the inside, so he took it outside. Got that championship feel to it today. Good crowd. Hands great shot too strong. Fells with a rebound. Fells having a terrific game. Instead of using the power dribble inside, NC State getting hands for to shoot that third away jump shot. Only four minutes in, Bells has two rebounds and six points. Here's the offensive foul. So Grant with the offensive foul. 15-48 to play in the first half. Green and Thompson come into the ball game now for Carolina. I expect also a lot of zone by NC State in this game going man right now, but to try to save fouls and save legs as well. We'll pack by one. Hands broke. Power move. And that's why I think has to be a little more patient. You like the aggressiveness, but you have to understand McCauley is not going to waste fouls. I think you get a little better shot than that if you take your time. They aren't giving any ground underneath either. Here's Fells again. So he's now missed his last two. Green into the paint. Hits the jumper. That's, that's part of the secondary break for North Carolina. The swing of the ball. Here's Pearl pinning down and getting Green a good look at the free throw line. Gives Pearl a tap on the back as a thank you. Over. Ellington almost had it. We saw that break so often yesterday for North Carolina against Boston College. That's who goes out. And into the ball game comes Brian Neiman, who's played well. He's a former walk on. So North Carolina really tries to hurt that against him. aggressively attack that first entry pass. Neiman was the player of the game against Virginia through Sydney Lowe. Look how far out they're aggressively denying the basketball right now. Ellington not letting Fellas go to Costner. Nice move. Costner just stayed the lead by one. Lawson pushes it right back. Royal effects of the injury right there. Yes, sir. Now he was a rocket up the floor. A one man fast break. The only pop that time was off the floor. Here's Costner for three. Bottoms. Roy Williams and his coaching staff just snuck back, and that was a tough shot. Early good omens for NC State. Four, six, and three. Costner with eight points. Ellington takes it. Good game. Grant got up. Yeah, if, it's a, if it's a good jump shot, you know, one thing, but I still think North Carolina better serve to just pound away in the paint, try to attack Costner and McCauley. McCauley takes it right to the rack. Well, Pants has got to be careful. McCauley very good with the basketball, can get to the rim in one dribble. He was a little out of position defensively that time. Folks, if you're looking for a Cinderella, NC State looks like they belong here. They are playing with confidence. Kick it outside to Fells. Fells back to Costner. Costner banks it in. He'll go to the line for one more. And the freshman now has 10 points. Uh, Sydney, while well, he couldn't have scripted a better start for the Wolfpack. Great pass right in the air. Costner shaping up. In the open spot, we draw the double team with the drive. His man has to come over. Just a lot of it. That's, you know what? That is what NC State is running on right now. Adrenaline and emotion. See how long that lasts. But right now, it's working. Here's your former McDonald's All-American. 6'8", 230-pound freshman from Montclair, New Jersey. Well, maybe a future Everett Case Award winner. But he's playing early. Well, that's unusual that NC State would miss a free throw because they have been spectacular at the line. Yesterday, they were 24-28. That was the difference in that Virginia Tech win. The Tech was uh, dreadful from the free throw line in that game. Terry turns it over. That's three turnovers for North Carolina. Let's check in with the coach. Cliff, what do you see? Well, for North Carolina, what we're seeing is a team that's pushing the basketball. North Carolina State 
really doing a good job getting back even having three people back in transition when the shot goes up as opposed to what Boston College did yesterday also playing a conservative contain type defense North Carolina is, is shooting on the first side of the floor the shots come easy on the first side of the floor but it's allowed North Carolina State an easy box out if they miss that shot well back on a seven nothing run you saw hands on the bench again he took that mask off quickly here's Fells on bounce felt he got undercut Terry beyond the arc bang has had a quiet tournament but a very capable scorer he's a guy who can spread the defense that's his first bucket that's the lead to three good minutes for Neiman and Horner out there right now for NC State dangerous pass Sidney Lowe trying to steal some minutes from his other players. Here's the call for two. Corner's big, but he doesn't look comfortable right now. Be on the floor. Terry for two. Vineyard's put back and he's fouled. So Ginyard will go to the line to shoot two. Championship Sunday in the ACC. Off to a great start. four from the floor. So Costner has 10 points and Ginyard is at the line for Carolina. Makes the first. Ginyard's a 77% free throw shooter. To the extent that NC State can't and they need to eliminate second chance opportunities which Ginyard gave them on this possession. If they make North Carolina miss, they must get the defensive rebound. A double grand. He's got problems. Got to get across the timeline, they do. You have to expect that after a timeout, after a made free throw, North Carolina will track. It's Costner again. Getting the double team help with Thompson coming in. It gave Brandon Wright the ability to get up and deflect that shot. minutes to play in the first half. One point game. Frazier looks at the shot box. He's 15 resets. Uh, Costner isn't paying much attention to Thompson right now. Just kind of playing center field in the defense. Shot clock is at five. Double dribble. So Thompson turns it over. That's the fourth turnover for the Tar Heels. Time to get Hansborough off the, off the bench. Yep. So Hansbrough comes back in. Ty Lawson comes back in. Frazier goes out. And that's been interesting to watch. And I think that the bench is going to get some minutes here early, but Roy Williams has been playing bodies, but the second unit hasn't been playing as many minutes as they were early in the year. I expect the starters to be out on the floor for a while. Sidney Lowe getting some good minutes out of Dennis Horner. This is Horner. To the hoop. Scores, he'll go to the line. Wow. So we talked about him, and he stepped up. Right, you know what? It was a great pump fake. He got Hansbro out on the floor and got by him. This is what's been happening. NC State has shown the ability to get past the initial defense. Again, you're just a little late getting there, stepping in. And that's, you know, the corner could have settled for the jump shot, but uh, big, big play trying to get into the paint. Gets rewarded with a three-point play. Horner, the third recruit for Sendak, Bert Sendak, that he signed last year. Only he was the only one to stay. Stay working hard on defense. Right with a nice left hook shot in. Right now has six points. Yeah, he, he's the guy they need to go to in the paint. Get him going. Put some pressure on North Carolina State's interior defenders. That's sort of doing a nice job of using the clock. It's a situation where NC State wants to shorten this game as much as they can. Although the first half to this point has been pretty upbeat. Up tempo. That's where it gets caught in the air and turns it over. Three on one. Over the right. All right, what 
great athleticism by Brandon Wright to avoid the charge, the length leaning out to the left and finishing. Tied at 21. To the end answer, you can't as a point guard get caught up in the air with no outlets. That's a that's an almost definite turnover. Carolina fans are on their feet and they take it away from that sort again. And that was knocked out of bounds by Carolina with the NC State ball. Missed opportunity, but Edsor is over dribbling at this point, and you can't do that against North Carolina. They're too good defensively, and they will attack the dribble. I know six to play in the first half. The other final, Florida ahead by two against Arkansas, making the final a little bit of a surprise. From the guy, when we talk about North Carolina, they lead the ACC in assists at 9 19 4. Only three assists so far in this game, but four turnovers. A little bit of a drop for NC State. And again, the trap hurts him. Neiman battles for it and knocks it out of bounds. Last touch by Carolina. That shot was so errant that it benefited North Carolina State. Turnover. Ellington scores. Tar Heels lead. Sydney Lowe takes a timeout. Eight forty to play in the first half. There's some luck in North Carolina State in the last two minutes and has really amped up their defense. Double teaming, shooting the gaps, getting turnovers and turning it into points. Wayne Ellington taking it coast to coast. Time out on the floor as the teams discuss strategy. You should too. Get someone to talk with you, not at you. Talk to Chuck, Charles Schwab. A little bit of a drop for NC State. They turn the ball over three times quickly, and Carolina on a run. Uh, and they can do that, and, but I, and I think they, this is a wise thing. There's a lot of ways that you can put pressure on a fatigued team. One of them is to run on the break. The other one is to really get after them defensively, and that's what they've done here. State it seems like they've been stuck in that 21 for quite a while. 11 to 3 run by the Tar Heels, and you can see the transition points 9 nothing. When we talked about yesterday, Tim, that, it, that uh, Sidney Lowe is going to call a timeout before the TV breaks to give his team a little extra rest. So right before the 8 minute mark, before the 4 minute mark, look to see that during the course of this game. Costner pulls up and banks it in. He's got 12 points. Let's see if that gets him going again. Beat him at the other end. Thompson on the pass from Lawson. That's amazing. I, I don't know that I've seen a team get the ball up the floor faster on a made basket than North Carolina. And they're doing it better in the tournament than they did it in the regular season. Really running well. Ollie in the paint. A lot of dribbling. Now, with, you know, with Edsor out, they need to run the offense through McCauley. He's very capable as a ball handler and passer. His foul is on Hansbro. Seven fifty-five to play. Up tempo in a two-point game. Terry and White. NC State, Carolina, and the Tar Heels have taken a two-point lead. Teams from the Triangle have won over 77% of the tournament title. Duke has won six of the last seven tournaments to tie North Carolina at 15 each. The Wolfpack won the tournament in the first three years of the ACC, but have not won a title since 1987. Eight different schools have won a tournament title. Clemson, the only original ACC member who has not yet won a championship. I blame Cliff Ellis. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Cliff, <laughs> hey, we won a regular season. That's harder than winning the tournament, brother. I can tell you that. You tell him. You tell him. <laughs> well, I, I We've been... got one. We do have a championship. <laughs> I had the good fortune, Tim, to, to play in three title games and, and win two and be a part of that. And uh, it's, it's an incredible feeling. And it's amazing. If you're coming into this year, Duke in the last eight years, 23 and one in this tournament. Costner takes it to the rack. Roy Williams thought it was a double dribble. He's been unstoppable in this game. Inside, outside, showing his whole arsenal. Roy Williams beside himself. And the foul will 
will be on Neiman, and that's two on Neiman. Right, two, zero. This is just classic post move inside, and your Brandon Wright letting him you know, get a ball up top. Spin move up and under, a la Kevin McHale, who was here to watch a few games early in this tournament. Actually, he didn't have possession, just knocked it to the floor, so there was no double dribble. Roy Williams now looks like he's waiting for a bus. You remember right there, eight different players have scored while uh, NC State has been carried by Brandon Costner. Well, and Roy Williams is going to throw waves of players at NC State all day long. He wants them to hit that wall. They played three hard games. This is their fourth. They don't have a deep bench. He wants to wear them out here in the first half. Here's Ryan with a jump court. How sweet is that? Virtually unstoppable. Ryan, he, he uh, like Costner, has been almost perfect inside. Ten points now for him on four or five shooting. See the points in the paint. Here goes Costner. Picks up his dribble. Looks for help. McCauley in the paint. They double him. Good hustle. So Grant got it back and they get a brand new shot clock. Fiscal game so far. Here's Bells. He's been quiet after his first couple of threes. Atso lets it go from the top of the key, and that's a three ball. Just, I don't think Lawson was expecting him to take that shot. Now he's the only one back. Usually one of the bigs takes it out for North Carolina, and uh, Deion Thompson had to come back in. A little lapse of concentration. Dang it, that's his first bucket. It's a three-point story, and that is why North Carolina State staying in this game. You can't bank him after the entire game, Mike. That's that's a pretty good shooting right there. Well, you know, but, but Timmy, I think it's smart to take it now early in the game while the legs are still a little fresh. And you got an arrow over the field goal percentage in this tournament for NC State is almost 56%. They've shot well in all four games so far. Costner takes it to the rack, has it blocked, followed by McCauley. How often does, do you see two big men run a pick and roll together? Zoned by NC State. Big time three. Oh, what a shot by Ellington. And he's the guy who can shoot it out. You know, he got him, he and Terry on the floor with range. Ellington had an 18-point performance in the quarterfinals. Ellington had 18 points against Florida State. Really hit some big buckets in that game. Costner against White. Returns on it. Air ball. He couldn't go middle because Terry was cheating there defensively. Carolina comes up with it. Great hustle by both teams. Mike, where is the energy coming from? To right. Well, it's coming from the heart for NC State right now. That's what we talked about it, but may not get into the relationship in the first half, but we really need to keep an eye on how they do in the second 20 minutes. But right now, game plan working pretty well. Get out the IVs. Halftime's coming in four minutes. Terry leads it out of bounds. High percentage shots. There's the split of the double team, and all of that causes a mini break. The defense can't recover. Here's the look. Costner has to step up. That leaves the middle wide open. And the big fella has 12 points. They shot Terry turned it over. So Carolina's got five turnovers. Right. Roy Williams really got after it. Right. Faster. And another great follow inside by McCauley. Lots of concentration on the weak side. Nobody got a body on McCauley. So far, when Costner goes to the hoop, McCauley follows it. And uh, right now, North Carolina having a lot of trouble defending that screen roll, regardless of who's in it. Hansborough, McCauley with a rebound.
rebound so far. We've had seven ties and ten lead changes. Terrific championship first half. We'll talk about short in the game. NC State has made it a 23-minute game right now. Inside the cup. Pretty good battle going on between the freshmen and the foul. Cosmo will go to the line. 3-11 to play in the first half. It's everything so far. Tied at 32 with 3-11 to play. NC State fans getting everything they can out of this ball club today. A look at the Q Motor Oil Power 25. Mike, what happens if NC State wins? They get the automatic berth from the ACC. Does that knock a team like Georgia Tech or Florida State out of the mix? I'll tell you, it might be because that would, if everybody's been talking seven teams, then NC State would get the automatic bid. That means eight teams would get in, and I don't know if that happens from this conference. I'm not sure that the ACC wants Arkansas to win either. Here's North, North Carolina getting out of the floor. Brandon Wright with the stretch. Ellington, this off the steal, taking it coast to coast by himself. And then their bigs run extremely well. Deion Thompson right to the front of the rim. One of the things that Roy Williams has to be concerned about right now, Tim, yesterday, NC State, no offensive rebounds. First time in the history of the tournament. Today, they've got five, leading the 10 second chance points, and that's against the best rebounding team in the conference. And you see the transition points on the screen as well. Tied at 32 as we approach the three minute mark. That's what doing a terrific job handling the ball today. But here's Horner now. Steps on the line and a turnover for State. That's eight turnovers now for the Wolfpack. There's nothing like college basketball if you're celebrating the win, do it right. The way you celebrate says a lot about you and reflects on your school, so be responsible. Take care of yourself and your friends, and that's a message from Anheuser Busch. clock on the back of Green going in and driving, and then Wes Miller burying this three on the break. And then the good swing of the basketball, the extra pass by Bobby Frazier. Danny Green has really come in and give this team a lift. He's the leading scorer off the bench. And Miller, who really has struggled him with his three-point shot this year, is, is perfect. Costner makes the first. The foul was on Tyler Hansbro. So Tyler Hansbro now has two personals. Today's telecast is brought to you in part by Suzuki Motorcycles. Costner still at the line. He's got one more coming with 112 to play in the first half. And he gets it. He now has 16 points. 70 seconds left in this half. Carolina on a 13-4 tear. 
Here's Wright. Oh, nice play by Axel to make that steal. Frazier needs to use ball fakes to get the ball into the post. That's where just read his pass and read his eyes perfectly. There's the time remaining on the right of your screen. And NC State turns it over. Turnover number 10 for the Wolfpack. Yeah, I thought the last three were unforced. Uh, just kind of mental errors by NC State. And that's, again, what happens with fatigue. It starts creeping in. Your decision-making starts to slip a little. And guys are starting to hang on to their drawers now. They're leaning over and hands on their knees. Sidney Lowe needs to get us to the locker room. Just too, just too easy. Yeah, too good when he receives it in the paint. They forced him out a little bit, and he's had to get the ball up, but he won't, he'll score there. Wright has 14 points now. Shot clock is off. Game clock is at 12. Game clock is at 5. Costner from way outside. That would have been big. The game was tied at 32. Carolina went on a 10-2 run. Now Fells then started hot, but then he got eaten in the Right away, a whistle. Clock didn't start. Shot clock started, game clock did not. NC State doesn't want to have to play any extra seconds, I can guarantee you that. Game clock still locked at 20. It's kind of easy to do the math right there. 35 seconds off the game clock, and here we go. So we're underway in the second half. NC State has it first. Hit two of those threes to start the game, but he's struggled since. Back to Terry. Sean Terry really rebounds his position well. Well, he was trying to add to their lead. Gained all the momentum before intermission. Terry with the rebound, turn around jumper. McCauley with the rebound. Rayshon Terry might have been better served to kick that ball out, maybe get a better look. Oh, he's got six rebounds now. Quite big. Dostner takes it to the rack. Still looking for our first points in the second half. Is fouled. The foul will be called on uh, Courtney Fells. That'll be his first. Hansbro had a quiet first half offensively, only two points, one rebound, but two steals. Two. If you look at it, they had 11 guys played in that first half in North Carolina, nine of them scored. This broadcast is a copyrighted presentation. Any use of it without the express permission of Raycom, Lincoln Financial Sports, and the ACC is prohibited. Tyler Hansbrough makes them both, and the lead is now 10. You know, it's interesting. What I have seen guys do over the years is take the mask off to shoot free throws. Moses Long used to do that, but the Hansbrough staying with that, shooting right through it. Costner turns it over. Game starting to get away from NC State. You have to step up and stop the advance of the basketball. Somebody's got to get the ball handler, and things just parted wide open for Ellington. All of the talk here in the arena at halftime was how much left in the tank for the Wolfpack. And right now, things don't look good. Well, you've got to give them credit, though, for their testament fortitude. Gavin Grant is fouled, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Three, Six steals in that first half. There's a slide inside. 
And Pittsburgh getting a hand on it. There is nobody steps up. Everybody was the only two defenders back. You have to get uh, in line in tandem and then break from there. Gavin Grant, a very good free throw shooter, hits the first. Now, Grant had 16 points in the second half against Virginia. Really came to life. Finished with 20. Yesterday, 20. He was 11 for 11 at the line yesterday. And it's that going here. So the, to the extent that NC State can get to the free throw line in this game, a very good shooting team, but it also buys you a couple seconds rest. Lawson pulls up for the short jumper and nails it. Now Lawson isn't a guy who looks for his shot, only had three attempts in that first half. But a very good shooter, 52% of the year. Now Lawson picks up the personal foul, that'll be his first. Boy, Williams thought he had the clean pick. Now here's another example of a, a little screen roll, and uh, actually Atzer got hung up on his own man, Costner, trying to fight over the top of the screen. Costner had the three look. Now the entry pass to McCauley in the fall of the jump board. on the baseline, reverse layup, how sweet it is. And Sidney Lowe needs a timeout. 50 to 36. The Tar Heels have exploded. So at the end of the first half, in the beginning of the second, they've taken over. yesterday with eight seconds left in the game. Monty Cal leaned over and whispered into his ear, happy birthday, Jimmy B. Uh, that was really powerful when uh, when City said that at the press conference. This foul on Costner, that looked like a touch foul. They're going to have to channel him and every other uh, piece of uh, energy source that they can in the last 15-29 of this game. That's the first and Costner has yet to score this half. Trying to add to its 12-point lead. Thompson with a turnaround scores. I really like his low post game. Very solid. No double team help coming, so he understood that. Took his time and made a nice shot. He's getting points from so many different areas and running so many players at NC State. Oh, got poked in the eye. Personal foul on Danny Green. That is his second. You see, uh, Holly there trying to get his eyes cleared out. And the hold is called. And they call that one on Ellington. That's his first. Uh, and a screen to screener move on that out on that out of bounds. There's McCauley and then the grab. He's trying to come off Costner. Outside for Pauly, Atzer sets it with 32 on the shot clock. <laughs> Haven't heard as many whistles from Sydney today as the very first couple days. And Grant offensive foul. You know, we talked about they like to run Grant into the low post because of his size, but Danny Green can match him in size and strength. And this is what gets you rung up. That little bump using the shoulder, that gets you an offensive foul every time. This offense looks up, sees 15 on the clock, pulls it out, resets. Here he is. This is for two. And Wright is the last one to touch it, so it'll be NC State basketball. Our Chick-fil-A nugget of the game. Well, two-time every case award winners, Larry Miller at 67 and 68. Tommy Burleson, 73 and 74. And J.J. Reddick.
That team the guy who fed Mr. Burleson all those baskets. Monty <laughs> Tommy with Tao and Stoddard and Thompson and Burl. I mean, it was just special to watch that team. In the history of the tournament, team, it's amazing only three guys have won it twice. All the great players that have gone through. Isn't that the truth? And ahead to Lawson. <laughs> Tired leg showing now. Roy Williams, they're, they're just trying to Lawson up, trying to keep the ball out of Hatzler's hands, putting maximum pressure on everybody pressuring out for North Carolina. And Thompson, look where, look where he has McCauley spread out to. Costner from way outside, hits the three ball. Wow. 19 for the freshman. His legs look pretty attacked. Yeah. He doesn't really elevate a lot on his shot, but still, that was a deep three. His first bucket of this half. No, uh, no surprise the Tar Heels lead in the transition game, 21 to 8 so far. Here's Wright. And the foul on Green. So that's three on Green. Hansborough will come back into the ball game. Wright will go out. He'll get a break. Green goes out. And Rayshon Terry comes back in. He's got quiet in the arena. Twelve fifty to play in the ball game. Tim Brand and Mike Jaminski courtside. This is the ACC Championship. North Carolina and NC State. First half had seven ties. The Carolina pulled away with a 10-2 run to end the half. Back out to Neiman. His shot. That's who will bring it back out. All that does it allows NC State to be a little more methodical. Runs more time off the clock. They need to get points now, though, Mike. Here's Horner. He scores for two. Horner now has five. Nice use of the screen and the curl around to get an open jump shot. Lawson penetrates. Costner fights for the ball. Stakes on the run. They've got a three on two. And foul. Bells will go to the line to shoot two. Right, well, he was fortunate, too, because I think an answer was running behind him. Had an open three. There's a record by Ty Lawson is really trying to test the hamstring of Engan Atzer pushing the pressure, but on the miss, look at the look at Atzer on the left hand side of his screen, wide open. Fells, uh, fortunately for NC State, gets bailed out on that foul. So Courtney Fells, a 6'5 sophomore from Mississippi, 78% free throw shooter, came up big with 16 points against Tech, and also had six rebounds. Been a pretty good run for NC State. It may not be a bad idea either for NC State free throw shooters. You want to keep in rhythm in your routine and maybe take an extra count to get to the free throw line or set the ball just to buy. You're just trying to find seconds of rest anytime you can. Tell you something else, Mike. Let's go. Let's not count this team out yet because they're about to make it a single digit lead. They've cut back into this thing. Here's Fells. Makes the second win and the lead is cut to nine. So that gets him up on the Wolfpack bench. <laughs> Offensive foul. Hansblow picks up his third. So Tyler Hansblow now in some foul trouble, and the lead has been cut. NC State has a 7-0 run going, and with the basketball is at Sewell. Demon with a pass inside, knocked out by Thompson. It's an interesting matchup. They've got Hansborough on corner. Opportunity maybe to, to hide him a little bit, and uh, they put Thompson on Costner. Oh, this is Grant have been quiet. Get it to Costa. He'll take it right into the paint. And he'll go to the line and shoot two. That was interesting, Tim, because they switched everything on that pick the picker action. Costa wound up on Junior, and that allowed him to get into the paint. Well, they're going to get right into the ball game for Carolina. He's over at the scores table. 
Costner goes to the line. Costner has 19 points. This is, you know, North Carolina is not a, a big time shot blocking team. Now that right is really their only for Danny Green can block some shots as well. So with right out of the ball game, a good idea to try to get to the rim while you can. The defensive presence is coming back on the floor. The number 10 seed has scored eight straight. And you see the numbers on Brandon today, 20 points, 7 of 14. This is the second one, and Hansbro loses it out of bounds. They called the foul on Horner. Cheap foul that you really didn't want to pick up, but Hansbro had secured the pass. Really, no opportunity for Horner to get that ball. So now it's a Carolina drought. So State dropping back in that zone to try to cover up for Hansbro and Wright, make it difficult to get the ball to them. Will William Jones to movement. Here's Frazier. Ellington takes it inside. And right with that little hook is almost impossible to stop. Actually turned that one and shot a jumper. Good find inside. He made himself available. Brandon Wright plays so much bigger than his 6'9 frame. Here's three for Costco. with a putback, nicely done. Got the rebound and hit the jumper. Now using his flank, pushed aside a bigger help. It was a long shot, so it was a long rebound. It went over the interior re rebounders for North Carolina. Fell's able to go up and get it. Eight-point game with 10.30 to play. Ellington fires for three. Yes. Good time weapon, 11 points now for him. 14 make that with the three. Carolina or NC State, rather, Horner answers with a two ball, and it's, he's got seven, and it's 61 52. With a two man game, NC State is going to pick and pop, and that's what Horner did. Hansbrough couldn't get to him. Hansbrough turns. Costner all over. Bucket goes. He'll go to the line. And Costner's hurt. Well, he's holding his chin. A lot of contact out there in the play. And he, and, he and Hansborough have been battling all game long. Let's watch and see if we can. It was an elbow. On the, it was an unintentional elbow coming up just as a matter of Hansborough shooting the ball. He had both hands on the ball. He's still bent over. Callie comes into the game for Costner. And they'll give him a quick check, and I'm sure he'll be right back into the ball game. Hasbro makes it a 64-52 game, so they push it back up to 12. Thrown out of bounds. No. Grant. I didn't even see him in the corner. <laughs> two. Again from Horner. Well, he's in two in a row. Has Dennis Horner been any good in this game? Nine points for him. Big lift off the bench. Right into the paint. Goes down to Gidyard. And Gidyard misses, but it's touched out of bounds by Horner. So it'll be Carolina ball. And a new 35. Sydney's working hard over there now. Costner comes back in. There was a little, there was a little mix-up that uh, Sydney Lowe thought that Horner had signaled to come out of the game, and uh, he said, "No, I didn't. I didn't give you the fist. I, you know, I want to stay in." Well, he's got fairly fresh legs, too. You want to get as many minutes out of Horner as you can. Plus, he's hit a couple of big buckets here. He 
was laughing about it. Behind that towel. Both teams have shot well. Costner on the break. Just a gimme basket. A little panic on the part of Frazier taking the ball out of bounds. No, uh, nobody to throw it to. There's still life in the Wolf Pack. There's the whistle. Sidney's like the sixth man over there. He's working. Outside the Kenyon. Tries to draw the foul. Costner comes up with it. And the reason that wasn't called, that he initiated the contact by the front of the defender. Heels. Again, you're left alone. Boy, he had a shot and didn't take it. Inside the hands go. And he's fouled. You can be assured wherever hands go is, there's a lot of contact. Whether he's catching it or initiating it. So hands go goes to the line. Take a look at our Havlin defensive shield. Most steals in an ACC tournament game. Ganey of NC State is on the bench. Bradley of yes. North Carolina. Yeah, see, so the truck having a little fun at my expense. Sure they are. Bradley Bradley uh, did that, was... that in the game in the final in 1979. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. There's a look at Ganey. They could use some minutes out of him this afternoon. Carolina 8 for 8 at the free throw line today. Make it nine for nine. Approaching the eight-minute mark. Sidney Lowe trying to get everything that he can out of his players and fells his foul. This is one of the best coaching jobs I've seen in the tournament in a long, long time. Sidney Lowe. I, I called his name out yesterday. How about the uh, something for Charlie Rosinski, the uh, trainer for <laughs> NC State? I mean, nobody I think was busier last night than him. Getting everybody ready, especially uh, getting, uh, I don't know that anybody felt that sure was going to be able to play as long as he did today. Bells gets it down in the single digits again. Neiman goes out. Horner comes back in. There's Charlie. On the bench for games four days with those ideas set up last night but throw it into any way you can it's been a magnificent effort by nc state to this point it sure has as we go over eight minutes it's 66 58 the wolf pack would not go away tenacious and carolina's not backing off fifteen on the shot clock Good defense by the pack. Here's Wilson. Seven on the shot clock. Gets tied up. Turnover. Great hands by Bells. A bigger guy. That's a tough assignment for him to guard Lawson. Carolina's turned it over nine times now. Bells wants to post up inside on Miller. And Miller fouls him. Holds him. That's two of West. A little bit of Costner, a lot of the pack. We've got a ball. conversation between the two referees right there. And, uh, you know, we talk about the teamwork on the floor, and there's teamwork amongst the three referees as well. A great crew, Carl Hess, Brian Percy, and Gary Maxwell today. NC State continues to rock and roll here. Here's Fells, makes the free throw. Seven-point game. Two-possession game. With 7.15 to play, the Wolfpack fans are on their feet. You wanted a short game, Sidney Lowe's got himself a seven-minute game. Antwell and McCauley looks for contact, gets it. And the foul will be on Courtney Fells. 
Hansborough will go to the line to shoot two. Slight advantage in the temps for NC State in this game, but North Carolina quickly making that up. Hansborough still shoots more free throws than anybody in the conference. And NC North Carolina has been perfect in this game, 10 of 10. And Hansborough with that mask was uncomfortable early in the tournament. Matter of fact, yesterday only six points against Florida State. Three of seven from the field, 0 for 2 from the line. And now he's in double figures with 11 points. Grant gets it to Costa. Here we go. There's seven minutes to play. It's an eight-point game. Back door. How about that strong move? Courtney Fells. Oh, when your pressure is being extended, that's what you want to do. Get out and make a quick back cut. Terrific pass, too. 68-62, Carolina. This is Ginyard for three. Rebound, Wolfpack. Unusual to see that. Only three of nine, three point attempts for Ginyard on the year. 10 4 run by State over the last three and a half minutes. Take it in. Grant in the paint scores. It'll count. He'll go to the line for one more. I would have never thought this possible, Tim. Four, four games in four days playing against this team. And here's Grant. Bump right in, and there's the offense running through Ben McCauley. Bells with the great back cut, the blue side defense not there. Grant makes the free throw. And here we go, 68-65, under six to play. Incredible effort by the wheel back. Hands go down low. Foul. So Hansbro will go back to the line. It's going to be a steady diet of Tyler Hansborough in the low post, wearing down at NC State. Pauly picks up another push, but he's got two. Makes the first. Got a glimpse of Sidney Lowe there, telling Fells the instructions. He came in and now delivers it to the guys in the on the lane, right about of his season average for attempts. And uh, when you're a big man and you shoot just under 80% from the free throw line, it is a big, big asset. How about the effort by Hansborough in this tournament, playing with that broken nose? Well, it's the ACC tournament, Tim. <laughs> you know, you that was a good reverse layup. There's new life in the Wolfpack. Uh, Gavin Grant coming alive in the second half for NC State. Hansbrough again, down low. They double him. He walks. And he walks because Brandon Costner comes down and doubles big. One possession game is actually urges on his teammates. If they hit a three, this place is going to score. Green goes out. Terry comes in for the Tar Heels. Got this. Back to Costner. It's been a nice move. They just lifted McCauley up to the high post. It's really opened up things. Fells for two. Yes! He's got 18 points. Terry for two. Answers. How's this for a championship game? We got the best seat in the house, partner. Yes, we do. Costner again. Picks up his dribble. And turns it over. I'll tell you, North Carolina is doing a terrific job when the, when the ball handler does pick up his dribble. Everybody is denying passing lanes. 
You must keep that ball alive until you have an outlet to pass with the NC State. Randy and Terry talking and smiling at each other. They'll pick the pick and play coming. Terry takes it with a wrap and is fouled. The bucket will count. Almost, it was almost as if Terry told him, I'm coming at you. Yep. Uh, he's coming up big. He's got great size and length inside. And the action, there's a screen by Hansborough to give him just enough room. No shot blockers for NC State. There's the look. I just using the rim on the other side effectively. So Gavin Grant picks up his third. And that's a three-point play. We saw the senior Wes Miller come in in the first half and give him a lift. And Rayshon Terry is stepping up at the end of this game. Six-point game. Both sides enjoying this one. Time out on the floor. The teams discuss strategy. You should, too. Get someone to talk with you and not at you. Talk to Chuck. Charles Schwab. How about this coaching job? Uh, magnificent. Sidney Lowe, his first ACC tournament, taking his team all the way to the finals, and not just getting to the finals, giving North Carolina all they want right now. Look at Tyler Hansborough. What he's got, only one, only two made field goals, but he has made a living at the free throw line. Using pump fakes effectively. He is giving, he's getting hammered inside, but he keeps, he is relentless. Nine of nine from the line. So with 425 remaining in the bowl game, 75 69. That's what Mike was talking about. The numbers for Hanswell. Both teams still shooting extremely well. Costner now doing a lot of the ball handling. Bells looks inside, gets it back to Grant. And Grant is fouled. Those two are battling. There is absolutely no question. They're battling and they're talking. Both teams in the double bonus now going forward. And NC State running a, their own uh, little version of the flex offense inside. Chrysler gains something. Looks like this, Mike. Well, at, at the top, we talked about NC State had to shoot lights out. 57% against North Carolina is as close as you can get to that. Grant makes the free throw. Folks, we are seeing a battle right now between Grant and Terry that is just spectacular. It's almost as if they challenged each other. Inside, not blocking out. 75 72. Zone for NC State. They're going to test the perimeter. Grant working on Terry again. Shot clock at 13. Shot clock at 8. Shot clock at 5. Bang! Sean Terry just lifting his team in his back right now. See if Grant can answer this end. This is Costner. Costner's bucket goes. Hook under the line. This is off the charts. We got four personal fouls now on Tyler Hansbrough. So Hansbrough picks up his fourth. Grant and Terry continue to battle. It's a four point game in the ACC Championship from Tampa, Florida. 315 left. Costner goes to the line. Costner, 24 points today. Twenty-five. Redshirt freshman has been spectacular. It's a one possession game. Ball's loose. 
Possession arrow belongs to Carolina. This is a big man. news right now for Carolina. Brandon Wright because he is the postman in this offense. Angus thought he had a, a steal there for a second. Good defense. 24 left on the shot clock as they mop up the floor. Confusion by NC State just before the ball was coming as to who to match up with who. Grant stays with Lawson. New shot clock. Inside the right. Grant with a rebound. Two point blank layups missed by North Carolina. NC State with a chance to tie. Bellas looks inside for Costner. Costner takes it in the paint. Grant, too strong. This is again for close range. Two great looks at it for him. Roy wanted a foul. Under two minutes to play. Costner with a turnaround jump. Nobody underneath the Carolina. That last rush up to four, NC State did a great job of transition defense and cutting off the break. I wonder how long Roy Williams is going to go without Hansborough on the floor. Fans coming to their feet now for the last 128 of this championship game. Still a one possession game. The, uh, there's the Jimmy B sign and Bell's aggressively talking the basket. Gavin Grant has come alive in the second half. A couple of quick moves for him. Bell's a nice jumper. And Costner, we talked about freshman uh, who might win the Everett Case Award. He's making a pretty good claim to that right now, too. Mike, it was a first half, had everything a fan could want with 10 lead changes and seven ties. It was 32-32 in the last two minutes of the first half. And Carolina exploded for a 10-2 run. They came out and started the second half with a big run, opened up a 16-point lead, but Carolina just has held on here. Well, the senior, Rayshon Terry, really has taken over the load offensively for this team. He's been solid. The long three with pressure on him. 11 points for him in this game, and eight in the second half. Do you think Sidney Lowe would have signed up for a three-point deficit with 128 left? In a heartbeat. <laughs> in a heartbeat, Parker. And Roy Williams certainly knew he'd be in for a game with the heart of this NC State Wolfpack. Here's their situation. You see the timeouts remaining. Two for the Wolfpack, Foley with 30. No full left for the Tar Heels. They do have three 30s, though. And both teams in the bonus. Three-point game, one possession, 128 to play. You can see tournament pressure. The last few jump shots for both teams missing, especially easy layups inside for North Carolina. But this is a tournament final with two minutes to go. The basket shrinks up a little bit. Here we go. 18 on the shot clock. 128 to play in the game. Ellington penetrates to the hoop. Has it blocked. The whistle and a foul. This is an aggressive move for Ellington. Doesn't shoot a lot of free throws during the course of the year. Took the body right there, and I think by keeping both hands on the ball, he didn't, get, he didn't have to get the offensive foul with his left hand. The ball, he can't believe it. North Carolina at the line this afternoon is 15 for 15. And Ellington, an 80% shooter on the season. 
walked in with 15 points, has another the cup. Roy Williams will get offense for defense, getting his best defensive team on the floor. Junior coming in for Ellington. Pushes the lead back to five. Time now becoming a factor for State. 65 seconds left. That's the shot. Oh, good. Carolina comes up with it. And the foul. The foul is on McCauley, his fourth. Tim, this is what you have to do in long shots. The guards have to hang in there and rebound their position. And Ty Lawson came back in and dug that ball out. So Lawson goes to the line. Carolina has not missed from the free throw line today. Lawson, a 66% free throw shooter. That's just, and that's outstanding. Both teams only. Only three misses combined. How about that for a championship performance? Yeah, that's awesome. One more time. Three possession game now. Everybody in the arena coming to their feet to salute both teams. Can't ask for more than this in a championship game. That's it, you know, if NC State right now, I just, I just have to believe that three-point shooting is going to be awfully difficult this late in the go. I, you have to get something, maybe attack the rim, get a three-point play the old-fashioned way. If you look at the three points, Atzer's 37% beyond the arc, Costner 38% beyond the arc, and Grant 32%. Trevor Ferguson has hit 6 of 15. Lawson's going to get up into Atzor and make him expend some energy and take some time putting the ball before. Let the cost will be kind of a pulling guard here trying to get him over half court. Atzor realizes they've got to go. Picks it up a little bit on the pace. Looks inside. Costner in the paint. Gets the roll. He's fouled. He'll have a chance for a three-point play here. I've talked all tournaments about making, making people beat you with their weaknesses, and Costner, left hand, loves to post up on this side of the floor and get into the lane. He's got enough of the body to limit Wright's ability to block his shot on this play. I talked about an old-fashioned three-point play. Now the bench loves that one. Costner's body that Mike talks about is six foot eight, two 230 pounds, and he'll get bigger. He's a redshirt freshman. So he converts the three point play. One point game. Foul on Grant. So Grant picks up his four. McCauley will check back in for NC State for rebounding. And Hansbro will go to the line. Down to 41.7 seconds. So the good news for NC State, these last 41 seconds are going to take a while more than likely, so give them an opportunity to get a rest. The last two minutes has been a chance to catch a breather now and then. He makes them both perfect. He is perfect. 11 for 11 today at the line. Timeout on the floor with 41.7 seconds left. And Carolina leading 84-78. Mike, tell me about the strategy now for NC State. I have, you know, more of the same. But again, I just think attacking the uh, attacking the basket is going to be a key. Um, you know, I just in this instance. Your legs go, your three-point shot goes, and uh, I think you try to put some pressure on the referee. Both teams have been solid at the free throw line, so why bail a team out and settle for a jump shot? But the situation is it's still a two-possession game. You've got just 41.7 seconds left. you got to start looking at 
for threes at some point. Yeah, and it's I think in this one you can still get a quick hitter. And uh, you look at the, the three-point shooters for this team. Enganatzer, as we talked about, maybe get the uh, ball handling responsibilities for Pauly in this situation and let him roam and shoot. There's a three-point shooting today. Both teams have shot well, extremely well, from beyond the arc. Good Bellis calls it the bonus tier. Too much for it. You can feel the tension in this building, can't you? Fifty-four Daniel ACC tournament. Thing one and thing two right there cheering their team on. Here we go. He's got that bad hamstring. He doesn't like to push it too, too hard up here. Back after Bells. Inside he goes to McCauley. McCauley banks it in. Wow, great position right, inside. Great shape up. They went to the quick two instead of the three. Timeout with Carolina. They couldn't get the ball in. He's got rid of Roy Williams. I think his team did not want to burn a timeout in that situation of the inability to get the ball inbounds. North Carolina State without a any timeouts left. Here's the last play. Two-man game, and then the duck in by McCauley inside. Great position. So you make a good point, Mike. NC State now is out of timeouts. So if they call one, it's a technical. Well, We've seen that before. And it's a suit him. you got you got hands with four, the four fouls on him. He could not be overly aggressive in defending that play. Carolina, on the other hand, has two 30-second timeouts remaining. 31.5 seconds left in the ball game. Pascal picks up hands, bro. How about this? After all that, four days, four games, 31 seconds left, full court pressure for NC State. Bells on Lawson. Lawson brings it up. Bells pouting. Wanted to foul call a little bit earlier than that. There's 29.7 seconds left. Percentage-wise, that's a smart play. And again, you got your point guard. Lawson's going to have the ball in his hands, but only 66% from the field on the floor on the year. What a great job by Will Williams. for two shots. It was last year, 2006, the National ACC Coach of the Year. This is Ty Lawson. From Oak Hill Academy, Clinton, Maryland. That is Carolina's first miss of the ball game. And, you know, there, there should be a stat that's kept from free throw percentages under two minutes. And that's a, it's a different ball game. Sure it is. A lot more pressure. He's got one more coming. Makes the second. The lead is five. Help. Here's McCauley again. Jeff, too hard. Carolina with a rebound. And the foul with 14.7 seconds. Oh, what a huge miss. Here's the look at it. McCauley getting the ball in good position. Here's about to seeding ground. Just kind of ran. It was a tough angle for him to commit, and then the weak side rebounders did get a bounce. Sidney Lowe, you saw him pleading his case. Sean Terry knocks it down. This one's huge. It's a two possession game. This can make it three. Boom. He's been terrific in the second half. That might do it. And how about this NC State team? Incredible four day performance. Costner right to the rack. In the last five seconds, Carolina is going to win again. Lawson with the exclamation point. Still some time left on the clock, fellas. So the players, players are lining up for the handshakes. Well, everybody's ready to celebrate. We've got eight tenths left. Point eight seconds left on the clock. 
That's almost got cut by the board there as the camera scrambled to get off the court. And that'll do it. Carolina 89, NC State 80. What a finish to a great final. Incredible, and you know, North Carolina, their first championship since 98. But uh, NC State giving them an unbelievable game in the finals. Carolina won it 57, 67, 77, 97. How about this ACC championship title here in the tournament in 2007? We've got plenty of post game for you. There's the exclamation point, 89-80 North Carolina. We'll be back right after this.